Hi, I'm Ed Clark and I'm uh, Director of Technical Marketing at Xbos. And what I'd like to show you today is our motor control platform. So what we recognised very early on that Xmos is a very good fit for, for real-time control. And particularly what's very nice about the chip is that it's hard real-time. So that any control loop can be completely verified and certified for timing uh, and guaranteed to run in 100% of cases. So what we've done here, we've put a couple of our chips onto a motor control platform. So we've got the, the, uh, the power drive on the bottom here. Um, and actually, we've got space here, I don't know if you can see over the top, space for two motors. And we can control two axes of three-phase motor from a single core. We also put on some edge in, uh, interfaces as well. So you've got CAN here, <laughs> Ethernet, I2C out to, a, to an A to D here. Um, SD RAM for logging and so forth and what we're really providing is a, is a framework which the customer can then take and put their own control IP into to develop systems quickly. Hi, I'm Corey Rathbone, one of the applications uh, development engineers from Xmos and along with several other engineers we've been developing this platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how it works. So what I'm going to do first is run the software uh, this has been loaded onto the board over USB via JTAG. That's now started the three-phase brushless DC motor. Uh, it's rotating at about 200 RPM uh, for about nine seconds or so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then download this data over Ethernet. Uh, so I'm now sending all of the logging information that we've stored. Uh, we store this about 20 kilohertz from all the control loops into SDRAM store about 18 parameters. It's then sent out using TCP. You can do it any other method, for example, to use CAN or various other protocols. And then what we can do is we can then plot this data on the computer and we get a, in a second, once it's finished processing all the data, we get a nice plot of our run which shows us what happens to the motor, what happens to the control loops, the inner and the outer loops, for example. Uh, I think it loaded. There we go. So this is showing our current run. So it's showing the set point and it's showing the RPM achieved. And it also then shows our IQ vector here, which is following the control loop as it should. And it minimizes our ID vector here, which is showing that we're putting most of the energy in the motor into generating nice smooth torque rather than generating extra waste heat. Um, and ripple within the torque output and it's given a very high efficiency motor. So the reason you ex use XMOS is first of all it's, it's hard real time. Uh, we've got 500 MIPS of performance per core so we've got enough performance there to do quite complex algorithms. The other thing is that we integrate not just the control loop and all the PWM and so forth but the communications interfaces around it so really integrating into a single chip. And the last thing is we're very scalable, so it's perfectly possible to control, in this case, uh, two axes, but if you want more axes, just buy a bigger chip.